Hello and welcome to a new adventure. So today we're down here in some very spooky woods. And I'm not going to tell you where, but what I'm going to say is I've got a special guest with me today who knows all about what we're looking at today. So I'm going to introduce you first to one of my favorite YouTubers. It's Robert John Kerr. Hello. And you can find him on YouTube. He's got a fantastic channel where he walks around with his camera and shows you historic things and just talks to the camera and even does some good technology things as well, don't you? I do, yeah. Some good pieces. I like to think I do anyway. He, do, he does. Now, I learned a lot from Robert. So if you want to go check his channel out, head over to Robert John Kerr and have a look on YouTube. But we're down here today and Robert's going to show me something that I've been wanting to do for a long time. It's associated with a very famous outlaw. Now I'm talking about that wonderful man, Robin Hood. Does he exist or doesn't he? We don't know. But that's what we're going to look at today is the story of Robin Hood's grave. So you're going to be saying, so you're in Nottingham then? Well, we're not in Nottingham. We're actually in West Yorkshire, just outside Brighouse, that's right. near Murfield. And you're thinking, hang on a minute, but Robin Hood was from Nottingham. Well, he may have been, but the rumor is he was buried up here in West Yorkshire, not far from where we are now in these woods. So Robert's going to take me along and we're going to go look and explore the whole site and then take you to, hopefully, Robin Hood's grave. So let's go. So we're just making our way through the woods all the way up to his grave. And it's just these random buildings like this one, just in the middle of the trees. Now it's starting to remind me of Milner Field a little bit, but not quite as gloomy as that. But it's just these random farm buildings or old ruins left in the trees. Now hopefully Robert's going to take us to uh, a ruin a bit later on. Now I saw it in Robert's video and it was really spooky. And we'll let you know if we hear anything untoward in these trees as well. I've seen a lot of these fallen oak trees. <laughs> Something that's really unusual here, and it's the um, these posts. You don't see that very often. No. Imagine the labour involved in these fence posts. Stone, square holes cut in, and they go all the way along there. All the way up there, yeah. You can't see them on the camera, but they yeah. continue that they way. Go all the way through there. And through there. So this has just been a fence, do you think? Quite unusual, yeah, but how long have they been yeah. there? Quite thick as well. Yeah, you don't see them. Are they wood? No, they're stone, aren't they? Yeah. I thought they were wood. Only Yorkshire fellas have put trouble of that. <laughs> yeah, that is true. <laughs> so you just stumble across this. It looks like a water trough, doesn't it? An ancient water trough. Horses, I would have said. Got the tap there, the pipe. We just stood here now and we just walked through these woods and we're just looking down here and there's a path that goes through the trees here but the trees are perfectly even both sides all the way down so this to me looks like some sort of a carriageway or a wagon way of some sort so i'm gonna have to have to confirm that with you on the map i'll look at the old maps and see if there's anything here but it looks like a wagon way of some sort so robert's told me the story of how robin hood ended up here at the priory so he's going to tell us this story now well, what it was robin hood realized that he was dying so he sought out a relative of his who was a nun at the at the priory and uh, it was his auntie wasn't it his aunt or something you're probably right <laughs> but uh, <laughs> definitely a relative cousin uh, something like that and he, he came over with little john the big guy and uh, they ended up there and she was a blood letter uh, a blood letter is someone that uh, sort of uh, they did it with shells and old bones and stuff and cut your skin and literally bled you and it was supposed to bleed out uh, any impurities and sort of evil it was all a bit hocus pocus as well which is why it was someone of faith yeah. that, that was doing this so but what she didn't know was uh, that his cousin was actually really disappointed in him for some political reason he was opposed to something with something to do with his church and she was really disappointed in him and uh, she actually planned to bleed him to death and that's what she did along with a guy called Red Roger of Doncaster uh, who was her lover 
uh, they plotted to do this uh, together. So Robin Hood found himself uh, very ill, bleeding to death literally, and uh, he called Little John back. Apparently he, he had some kind of horn and he <laughs> he blew, it's all really wrong. All the way to Nottingham. <laughs> <laughs> well, little John came with him oh, okay. and he, he just sent him off uh, while he was having his bloodlet like you do yeah. and uh, Little John came back to help him out. And he nipped to Tesco's for a few <laughs> <that's>, minutes. <yeah. laughs> and uh, he came back to help him out and uh, realised that he was dying and he shot the arrow out of the window of the uh, gatehouse there and wherever it landed that's where he wanted to be buried. So thanks to Robert for telling us that story but he's brought us now to the ruins of a building and we're not sure what it is are we? I don't know what it is I just stumbled upon it when I did my Robin Hood's grave vlog and yeah I had a little look around it and it's amazing how the roots and the trees have kind of taken over it and I did ask somebody what the carving was it's numbers obviously converted it's a year anyway yeah it's a year they told me what it was it's a Roman numeral yeah isn't it? Um, 18 something I think it was but I don't even know what this building uh, was, so if anyone yeah. does know what it is, let, let us know. But we'll uh, just show you this, so take a, take a look at this, it's amazing. just found this building in the trees and it's in pretty good nick but it's totally abandoned and uh, we can't work out what it is to me it looks like some sort of a folly or a like a tower it doesn't look big enough to be a house it could be some kind of lookout lodge or something or it's just some kind of folly I'll just show you inside it's in pretty good condition with the brickwork as you can see the floors have all rotted through but you can see there there would have been three levels in this yeah all the floors have completely gone and you can see the uh, where the staircase would have been there this to me looks like some kind of a folly or a, a lookout tower maybe I mean could it have been used for hunting or something or oh, because there's a lot of deer in these woods here, Robert was telling me. Is it going to be used for hunting or uh, yeah, some kind of a uh, just a lookout tower? Because you would have seen quite a fair way in there. I'll just take you around the side of the building. It's a bit of a tight squeeze, but. Yeah, that is very interesting. I have no idea what that is. I will have a look at the uh, old maps. I will have a look at the old maps and uh, put it in down below if we can figure out what it is. Yeah, you can just see it appearing in the woods there, look. Yeah, Robert found that uh, last time he came and he just told me, he said, I'll show you the abandoned building up there. Now, he knows what I like, and you know me in abandoned buildings now, I've got the bug. I want to find abandoned things. Yeah, just look at that as you're walking past. It's covered in ivy. And uh, big uh, vines, tree vines. Now that to me, looks like, if you go to Alton Towers, and you see the towers, 
buildings themselves, actual Alton Towers. They've, when they try to replicate for their rides, the Gothic look, it was create a Gothic building, cover it in mould and uh, moss, and then they put these tree vines up the side. That to me looks like that. So we've reached the site of Robin Hood's grave, or what is alleged to be Robin Hood's grave. Now to me, I'm not sure how accurate or how true this story is. There's been numerous studies done into it over the years, where they've done ground penetrating radar here, and they actually reckon that there is no body here, or any grave at all. But some say that they would have been, but it was moved many years earlier and they moved it to another site or an unknown lo location. So looking at the grave, looking at the grave today, it's in a, quite a bad state actually. Uh, a lot of the fencing has been damaged. Now I saw a video here probably a year ago, maybe two years ago, and this was all intact. But if you look at it now, you can see a lot of it has been vandalized and damaged. A lot of the metal work has been either stolen or vandalised going around there but you can clearly see the grave now there are lots of stories around this area of legends and wives tales and things like that in these woods of various different things obviously one of them being Robin Hood and there's also stories of witches and ghosts and nuns seen in these woods ghost stories now like i said when i was at the milner field site i'm not really one to go for that ghost side of it and talk about ghosts and spirits and things like that and i remember saying to you at milner field that i felt something uh, ghostly there and i didn't mean i felt a ghost i meant i felt it was just a, a, a somber atmosphere and i'm feeling it again today it's just a very quiet place and I'm, at the minute I'm on my own Robert's gone off to do some filming but it's just so quiet and eerie so I've just been talking to Robert and I was explaining about the grave I said to me this looks Victorian not much older than that maybe Edwardian at a push what do you think Robert well you are the expert Darren I just came and I had a look at it and I did read that uh, it's actually changed location where the arrow actually landed there's a few different locations and that there's no trace of a body below here and some people say that's because the original this is not the original or, not or it was original. moved maybe yeah so uh, I'm going to take you down to uh, Kirklees Hall where I believe there is the gatehouse and that's supposed to be the building that Robin Hood 
was dying in when he shot the arrow all the way to here and I tell you it's quite a distance because <laughs> they do say a lot of the experts say it would have been impossible to yeah. fire it from there over here and be buried here because they they reckon that the bows in them days wouldn't have been as good as they would be now and they would have been a lot weaker and also he was you got to remember he was on his deathbed wasn't dying, he? yeah he yeah. was practically dead so if he could fire that far it'd be a miracle so we'll take a look at the hole and I'll show you the distance yeah I don't think we're going to get very close to it because it is uh, private land when we get further down we'll get as close near as, enough. as we dare near enough yeah. we'll see you further down so we're just here with Robert now we've just reached the priory building or where the priory would have been in the gatehouse now the priory was uh, demolished many years ago but the gatehouse still stands and there's a hall next to where the, par the priory was now this is the priory or the the uh, gatehouse window that Robin Hood apparently fired the arrow from over and he said wherever it lands I want to be buried there and he fired it out that window now where we've come from the grave site is probably I'd say half a mile away it's a good fair distance away so I mean I'm a bit dubious that that is a legend but you can see the uh, building just down there now I'll try zoom in for you just to show you it's through them trees there but we can't get any closer because that is all private property over there but that is where the uh, we think or we believe the gatehouse is where Robin Hood stayed and where he died and then he fired the arrow towards us this way okay so I hope you enjoyed our little journey through Yorkshire's own Sherwood Forest here now we did find the grave which I was very happy with but that's all thanks to this man Robert John Kerr for showing me around and I saw his video that he did a few weeks ago and I uh, was very impressed and I said to Robert Robert can you show me that I'd love to see it and he said come on out and I'll show you but he's also made a video for his channel while he's been here as well and he's done a bit of a Q&A video haven't you that's right yeah so uh, if you want to check that out head over to Robert's channel Robert John Kerr and have a look at the video that he's just done with me and also check out his amazing videos and his Robin Hood that he did here as well he, like I said he does some fantastic walking videos and some history videos so go check him out it's fantastic and he's a, a local Yorkshire lad I am that's right yeah, yeah Huddersfield but still Yorkshire <laughs> but uh, yeah big thank you to this man for showing me around no problem and uh, we'll hopefully see you on a future video definitely definitely again yeah. see if we can get him down some caves or something I don't think so <laughs> <laughs> that'd be funny <laughs> but anyway thank you very much for joining us on this one and I'll see you next week so from us two it's bye thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for free by clicking the logo here and click subscribe like the video and any comments you have down below if you would like to support the channel or would like to make a donation, there are links in the description below. And finally, a big thank you to our existing supporters of the channel. See you on the next adventure.